this video, we'll take a closer look at this all new 2015 Infiniti Q50. All right, here's the key. It is just a uh, looks like a regular uh, Nissan uh, remote uh, knob with just a uh, Infiniti logo on it. The vehicle I have today is a hybrid, it's a new 2014 model that came out, I guess, last year. Alright, here's the, the key, just leave it here and uh, put your foot on the brake and push the button to start. Infinity system with uh, two screens. That is, uh, and this is the second time I see this setup of the touch screen and regular screen on the same front panel. Last time I saw it on Acura Aerolix, but I think uh, one big touch screen would look much better, uh, like on Tesla. Climate control, all the features are controlled by this. But it also doubled here, uh, just the regular buttons. Uh, steering wheel heater, air conditioning, it's all. Uh, Touch screen controlled audio. All right, now the uh, gauge cluster. It has the speedometer on the right and tachometer on the left with the driver's information display in the middle. And using the controller on the left side of the steering wheel, you can actually scroll through different applications of the driver's information display like fuel range, hybrid system condition, coolant temperature, fuel economy and the different driving ads like tire pressure monitoring system or uh, open door sign. Uh, so just a helpful uh, information run in front of your eyes uh, in this uh, color screen. And the steering wheel is uh, leather wrapped uh, with controls for your audio on the left and uh, cruise control and uh, control for your uh, driver's information display as well. Glove compartment. It is padded really nicely padded and uh, but the amount is not huge of the space actually here uh, just for a few magazines front panel it is soft and feels really good actually it's it's a really nice plastic uh, soft plastic wood trim with aluminum accents here it's kind of a uh, flows into the door you see that design and uh, nice seats uh, they don't have uh, high bolsters on the seating part but uh, the vertical part is, is pretty good with these bolsters and now the middle console and uh, the rear view camera with uh, uh, 360 degrees view and uh, the middle console here Two cup holders, drive modes, and the controller for the uh, sc information screen, and then the middle console storage. It's not deep, but uh, it has some stuff in here to uh, 12 volt power outlets and uh, map SD card and two uh, USB uh, inputs, and as well as the audio in and video in and as it is hybrid i don't see the it is on the electric uh, vehicle mode right now and uh, i don't really hear anything so i guess let's open the hood and check out the engine And now the hybrid system, it is the combination of a 3.5 liter gasoline V6 engine and an electric motor. So the total horsepower is 360 and the combined 
torque is 258 pound feet and the MPGs are 28 in the city and 35 highway, 30 combined. These are not uh, the highest MPGs on hybrid, but uh, considering 360 horsepower, it is quite good. And the suspension, it is four-wheel independent, sport tuned, with, combined with all-wheel drive uh, system. And now let's uh, take a look at the back seat and do my traditional back seat test. And here's the back seat and my height is 6'2 when sitting right behind myself. This is how much of the headroom I have. It's, it's not a lot actually. I am almost touching the ceiling and um, here is how much of the legroom I have sitting right behind myself. This hump in the middle and I guess it because uh, it is four-wheel drive or rear-wheel drive. And big seat elbow support with two integrated cup holders here. And here's the view of the front panel from the back seat and the back seat is actually a, just a tiny bit elevated uh, to compare with the front seats so now let's check out the trunk And the amount of cargo room here is uh, noticeably reduced because of the battery is stored uh, in the trunk between the back seat and the actual trunk. And this was my first look at this 2014 Infiniti Q50 hybrid with all-wheel drive. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like and share if you do. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, please visit my channel. But for now, thanks for watching and see you next time.